Prophets are very strange people. And so, most of the time they don't have good names. Except among the sons of the prophet. They don't have good names. They are a sign that is often spoken against. Luke 2, 34. This child is set up for the falling and the rising again of men in Israel. And for a sign that shall be spoken against. Because they are weighed. They do weighed things. They don't do civilized things. They do most of the time all civilized things. Just carry your stupid self as if you are going to the bush to do church. Are you mad? They do weighed things. Is that God told you arise and get up? Ah, did you tell him what you are doing? Did you explain to him or he just told you like that straight and you are going? They do weighed things. So they are most of the time signs to be spoken against reason. Satan wants to disconnect the people whose destinies are tied to them to miss it. The blessing of the prophet is an essential part of your destiny. If you miss it, you miss a whole lot. Because most things God won't reach you direct. He will reach you through them. Now listen to me. The blessing of the prophet is an essential part of your life. February 5, 1986 The Lord said to me Arise and get to Benin City and meet my servant there. And as I got to the gate of this lion the Lord spoke to him Get up now. There's a young man at the door. I have sent him. He's had many bad things about him, about you, but I have sent him. And as I enter, I knock on the door. He came and opened the door. And rushed at me in. And as I sat and I said, sir, by reason of the things I've heard about you, I never thought I would ever sit down with you. He said, God told me that before you enter. The blessings of that connection are irrecoverable or thou blessings. One day I put a seed in his hand. And I said, I just came from the U.S. and I had these blessings out there. And the Lord spoke to me to put it in your hand. And he stood up and put it back in my hand. He said, I saw this back in your hand. The prophets don't need what to have. You are the one who need what they have. He said, I put this back in your hand. And he said, from today, this hand shall never know dryness. 1987 August. I have never known dryness. One day this prophet said, my son, are you there? I said, yes, sir. He said, meet me in Makodi. Ah, Makodi. I was in Kaduna then. Okay. I'll be there. And I came and said, so you came. I said, I have no choice. And then, I said, have your bath here in my room. I said, my hotel room too has a bath. He said, have your bath here. And I had my bath. They do weird things. And after having my bath, and I came, I said, Nida. And then they said, I impart to you from today the gift of on time. Before the needs arise, the supplies will be waiting. This is one of the most stressless, financially stressless ministries in the world. A ministry where there is no finance on the agenda of council. That will tell you how stressless it is. You don't discuss power when there is power. You don't discuss water when there is supply of water. And he has been there. We've never had finance on the agenda. Finance, not on the agenda. Why was Satan pushing those information to me to disconnect me from the blessing of the prophet that is an essential part of my destiny? There are things you have heard from the devil that are packaged by the devil to disconnect you from your prophetic source of blessing. 